Hi, and welcome back to this mini series. In this episode, we're going to be creating our user base. To begin with, from the dashboard, click on users on the left hand side. From here, you would see a list of users, but there is probably none right now since we are setting them up for the first time. We can set them up individually or import them as a big bulk. If we click on import users to begin that with, we will come to this page where we will be following these steps. Click on download to download the file given. It is going to look like this. And this is where we will add all of our staff. And since we have created our user types, we can effectively put them in properly if we know all the different kinds. If we look at the top, we can see what is required and what is not. Once the file is complete, we are now going to upload this. Now that we have uploaded it, we can determine what the unique migration fields are. This will allow you to determine the unique identifier of the users that you are going to upload. In most cases, the email address would be used as you will not get more than two email addresses the same, but you may get two users with the same name. After that, we can decide how to handle any duplicates. Updated will allow you to make changes to the existing users. Ignore will have the system not make any changes to existing users. This could give you duplicated users if you already have them existing in the system. Since none of your users are in the system, we can ignore this. Now we click upload users at the bottom. Now we get taken to this page where we can see what will happen with them. Now these users are already added into my user base. So we are seeing duplications here and all of them are going to be updated. Such as the user ID already exists. This one will be ignored. This means that the system will tell us exactly what is going on. We can select to import and update individually or a few at a time by selecting who you would like to. In this instance, we will be importing all valid records. This will take us to a list of imports that we have done in the past, where you can check this out if you wish, but click import users button and it will take us back to the import more if we want to. If we click on users on the left hand side, we can then clearly see the users have been added into the system. Say if we have had someone complete this file and we notice someone is missing. Select add user to add as an individual user profile. You can upload a picture or take one if the device does have the capabilities. But now we're going to generate an ID and fill in their RFID and number if they have one. We now need to fill in their details and select the user type and email at this stage along with phone number is not required. After you've done that, click submit. We can search for that user to ensure they are uploaded by these functions here. And this is how we add our user base, either by adding them individually or as a bulk. Going to the right of the user grid, we can see within the available actions that we can change their user type, we can deactivate the user or edit their details or delete them entirely. If they have an email address, we can also invite them to the dashboard.
This will then help them look after the system as an admin. As you will see, you will be the only admin right now because you created the company dashboard. And it is a good idea to invite others to the dashboard now, such as other members of your front desk team may need to control your sign-in system. Now that we have understood how to add our user base, you can go ahead and start adding them in. Thank you for watching this episode.